Many times we just get up and feel a need for something, but we just can't figure out what it is. What do we do? Well, lots of things. Sometimes we pop in a video to watch, even if we've seen it many times. Sometimes we play a video game or read a fantasy book. We do all these things just to escape into another world. We lack purpose. We get bored. We complain that there's nothing to do. What if we got up in the morning and read our Bibles and prayed for God's direction? What would happen to us? How would it change our day? Many Christians do read their Bibles and pray in the morning before they face the trials of the day. When they do this, they become aware of the very presence of God. Their entire mindset is altered. Many Christians will not do anything else until they have spent time with God. They know that only God can get them thinking right. When they miss their time with God, they tend to get upset and be very demanding. They also want other people to give them only what God can give them. When we spend time with God, we become aware of His presence. The Holy Spirit empowers His Word in the Bible to change our minds. We start to think and act like Jesus. From that point, the presence of God goes with us everywhere. Other people, even non-Christians, can sense that presence even though they might not know what it is. The presence of God was so strong on Peter that the very shadow of Peter made people aware of God's presence in his life. That presence of God brought healing. What is in your shadow? Is it the mental flashes of violent video games? If that's what's in your heart, how will you react in a bad situation? Jesus said, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. It is God's intention that we bear the image and actions of God in the earth. We are to bring about the Lordship of Jesus wherever we go. That means that people will obey Jesus in all of their decisions. Is Jesus the Lord of your life? If He is your Lord, then He must have some way of talking to you. If you don't allow Him to talk to you, then you cut yourself off from Him like a branch. The branch dries up and dies. Then it is only good for throwing on a burn pile. No, don't cut yourself off. Spend time with God in the morning and allow Him to speak to you. Don't demand from your parents and other things what only God can do for you. What is in your shadow? Is it the shadow of an image bearer of God who has been distracted? Or does your shadow carry the very presence of God?